This is the Iron Mine Silver Bullet. It's one of the most technical elements in grip strength or arm lifting today, and I'm going to show you how I became the world record holder in this very technical, very difficult event. To understand the event best, we have to learn how it came to be and what it's made of and how to get better at it. This thing is about an inch and three quarters in length, and it's about three quarters inch in diameter. If it looks familiar to you, it actually is the same aluminum stock as your standard Captains of Crush gripper. There you go. Just doesn't have the stamping on the bottom. It does have the same tooling around the edge there, which is pretty cool. The Silver Bullet comes standard with an 18 inch strap attached to it, strong enough to hold on to your competition ready 2.5 kilo plate. You can use any 2.5 kilo plate, or you can go big and get the one that Iron Mine sells that's been calibrated. It's got holes punched in it, it looks really nice. I think it'll retail for about $150. But if you're going to be having these events on competition stages, they look a lot better than just a two and a half kilo plate. This event first came to be in around 2012, and the first world record recorded on this device was Elizabeth Horn on the number two hand gripper. Uh, Amy Waddles later eclipsed that mark and is the current world record holder on the number two with the silver bullet at I think it's 45.42 seconds. The current men's number three world record is Suhavarov Dimitri with 58.55 seconds. And the current world record, recently set by Gabriel Sum, on the number four is 19.95 seconds. Uh, I was the first to set the world record on this, and I was present during the first time that uh, Randy Strawson and uh, uh, Odhavi came up with the rules and kind of the rules of the road for using the Silver Bullet in competition. And it seems like these events every weekend, as grip grows, as arm lifting goes, are producing more and more world records. The record's getting broken every month or every other week. So I thought it was important to show a video of how I do my technique with a silver bullet and how I've been successful with it and how I would recommend you do it as well. With the same knurling pattern we have the best chance of getting a good tight grip in here with the silver bullet if the inside of your gripper is cleaned with a wire brush. So whatever chalk dust you have in there, whatever dead skin or other particles you have kind of caked into the handle, go ahead and get yourself a wire brush and scrub the inside of the handles really well. Make sure your silver bullet is clean as well so you have the best chance of taking new chalk and sticking it in there. I think aluminum responds really well to having chalk on it, but I don't think having uh, you know oil from your hands and dead skin cells, things like that, in the gripper, even on the inside, uh, will, will help you in your endeavor to become the best silver bulletist in the world. The rules of the event are relatively simple. You're going to take your silver bullet, you're going to place it between the handles of the gripper, the line there you can see the tooling mark where it says Captains of Crush. This is as deep as the silver bullet is allowed to be in between the handles of the gripper. It can't be any deeper up here. And having it down here doesn't really serve you that well, but you can do it this way. It's also important that during your time with the silver bullet, you don't have your hand tilted back. A good judge is gonna notice that and ask you to straighten out your hand. And also you can't have the bullet in the back of your hand. You see, I just slightly moved it behind the gripper handle and you can see a little bit of a shadow here. So it may appear to be a legal set because the line with the tooling marks are below the bottom of the handle. However, the silver bullet is set into my palm and I can very easily brace it to get more time this way. So during your initial set, you're allowed to use your other hand to help get the gripper into place and to get the silver bullet set up. And your time won't start until your supporting hand is pulled away and the gripper is at a level position with the silver bullet locked in below the line I showed you earlier. So you can spend as much time as you want trying to get the silver bullet in place, but it's only going to tire you out. So my recommendation is to practice, practice, practice getting the silver bullet set with a legal grip as quickly as possible so you can get your time started and maximize your strength. My preferred technique is to use the other hand as a setter to help, specifically the index finger and the thumb to help squeeze that gripper into position and I'll hold the silver bullet between my fingers like this so I get full use of my hand uh, without having to fumble for the silver bullet when it's on the table or on the chair and I can get into a squeeze right away. So first if you want you can try to find the dog leg of the gripper. I don't find it matters too much with a like a number three or a number four but for the sake of argument we're going to use the dog leg side of the gripper. Again I don't think it matters much. The set of your gripper you know when you're trying to close a gripper with like a parallel set you want that gripper further towards the front of your hand to maximize the leverages. With the silver bullet, because we don't have to close it all the way, it's okay to scoot it back a little bit so you can get a good strong grip on it. 
So I'll use the, the lines in my palm here. This line here I'll use for setting the gripper for a parallel set. This line back here I'll use as my guide to get the gripper in place for a silver bullet attempt. So I have my gripper lined up there. This is about where I want it. Let me get my silver bullet. Between the index and middle fingers is fine. Holding onto the strap, not on the bullet itself. So it's pretty easy. I can pick up my five and a half pound plate without much effort. Then I'm going to rest the plate on a table just kind of below the view of the camera or on a chair. And I've got one leg up here that I'm going to use to help set the gripper in place. So I have the gripper where I want it in my palm. I'm going to pin that into my hand. So I take this thumb and I push the gripper hard into my hand. I'm going to push my right thumb forward to create kind of a backboard for the gripper to get to sit against. Use the index finger to squeeze down and then I'm going to quickly try to get the silver bullet set into my grip. Here we go. I have a legal hold going on there. It took me a little bit of time to get it set up. But this is one that if you don't practice it very often, you don't get very good at it. So your goal should be to get the transition between a solid set and the bullet in your hand as quickly as possible. So if I'm getting in competition mode, I got everything set up here, squeeze it down into place, and I'm good to go. It only took me a couple seconds to make that happen and I haven't wasted a lot of energy. The supporting hand is pulled away and my time has already started. Your hand can be at 90 degrees like this or it can be fully extended. It doesn't really matter so much as long as you're not tilting the gripper like that. One of the ways I get the strength so high in my setting hand is I'll take my maybe number one, number two gripper and practice inverted closes. So I have the spring facing down. Get it set into my hand the best I can. And I'll just squeeze it down as hard as I can. Squeeze it again and just practice really relying on the index finger and the thumb to do a lot of work here. My favorite drill for working on the silver bullet, uh, well there are a few of them and I'll go over them with you. My number one favorite is going to be working with timed intervals. So I have my silver bullet set up with my two and a half kilo plate set between my index and middle fingers. I have my hand ready to go. It's all chalked up and warmed up. I have the dog leg if I want it in my palm or in the fingers. Again, it doesn't matter to me so much. And my goal is to get the silver bullet set in there with legal grip as fast as possible and then hold it for 20 seconds. Rest it for 20 seconds and then go again and try to count the number of rounds I can do with that. So I'm going to try to set it quickly, hold it 20 seconds, rest 20 seconds, set it again, hold it 20 seconds, rest 20 seconds, set it again, and continue like that until I can no longer hold the silver bullet in my hand for 20 seconds. With the number two, it will not take very long. I can only get through six or seven sets before my forearms burn out. With the number three and number four, I'm lucky to get you know two or three sets in there. But this has got a long way to help me be a little more productive and a little more efficient and effective in putting the silver bullet in the handles. There are three parts to my silver bullet training. The first is the technique that I already showed you. I work on getting that transition between getting the gripper set in my hand and snapping it shut on the silver bullet with a legal hold as fast as possible. The second element of the training is kind of developing that raw horsepower. So I'll take a number two or number three or even a number four, get the bullet set as quickly as possible, and then I'll smash on it for absolutely as hard as I can for as long as I can and try to build up that top and isometric power. The third element of the silver bullet training is gonna be endurance based. So I'll take a lighter gripper like a number one or a number two, put the bullet in there and squeeze it until it burns out of my grip, rest maybe a minute or two minutes, get it set in there again, hold it till it burns out of my grip, and do that until I can't get more than, you know, I'll make up a number on that day. I'll say 15 to 20 seconds of time in my hands. So I have the technical aspect where I'm learning how to be as efficient as possible with the set of the silver bullet. I have the, kind of the strength or the raw horsepower aspect where I'm just crushing it as hard as I can, way more than I would need to hold that two and a half kilo plate in the air. And then I have the endurance aspect where I'm trying to hold a, a light to a medium gripper for as long as I can to build up the lactic acid threshold in my hands and my forearms. And all three of those things are going to go a long way, uh, not just in the grippers, but in maybe other aspects of grip as well, to helping you achieve more personal records. 
I hope to see you on a platform next to me one day, and I also hope to beat you on that platform, especially in this event, because how would it look if I give you the tips where you kick my ass in the Silver Bullet event? That's a bad look. Maybe I'll be a good coach and a bad athlete. Only time will tell. <laughs>